Hola, everybody, and welcome back to Kamurocho and Yakuza Kiwami 2. In the last episode, uh, we just got to Chapter 9, and I think we were doing a sub-story or just walking around doing random shit. And, uh, well, we're going to do exactly that to start off today's sesh. We're going to go ahead and work on sub-story some more. Right now, we got drunk-ass Kiryu making zigzags through Kamurocho streets, just running into people. You know how he do. Move out of the way, bitches. Got sub-stories to work on. Anyway, we're going to start by heading over here to Theater Square and talking to the Information Man, because one of our sub-stories required us to go get some info on something. I don't even remember which one this was, but let's find out. Maybe Marita knows something about this. You have a minute, Marita? Oh, here you saw. You need something? Yeah. I was wondering if you know anything about a group of fake loan sharks that's been scamming people lately. All right. The loan sharks for the, the tree society or whatever. Heard all about them, yes. People around town have started calling them the 580 since they always ask for 580 grand. They pose as a fake activist group to trick people into giving up their personal info, then send thugs to collect the money. Rumor has it if you don't have enough, the thugs will trash your house and take whatever valuables you do have. That's pretty low. You know where they're based, by any chance? Well, I was planning on selling an info to the highest bidder, but I guess I don't mind giving it to you, Kiryu-san. Now listen, you know the modeling studio, studio across town? Those guys are up on the third floor of that building? They're decked out just like a real company, though, so be careful. Thanks. Good to know. The modeling studio? Like, the one where I did the photo shoot minigame? That's exactly where it is. It's that building. That's hilarious. Okay, so we're heading back over there in that direction. Uh, what can I do before I head over there? Um, nothing really is on the way over there. All the stuff I want to do is over in this area, so I guess we're just going to head down Shichifuku Street and do it. Try to run off this, this this drunkenness. Do we need to eat? Nope, my bladder's still full. We're good. By the way, have I ever walked through this little corner to see if there's any shinies? Oh, this is the... Oh, right. Oh, have we been in this particular arcade? Is this the one where I did the, the peeing minigame? Oh man, the peeing minigame. That shit was funny. Have I been in here? We got darts. I don't know if I've actually been inside this arcade yet. Unless this is where I actually did find the, the peeing minigame. Originally. There doesn't seem to be any shinies in here, unfortunately. Shiny. I hear you, Shiny. Where are you at? They're right in front of me. That's where you're at. All right. Speaking of the Shinies, looking for them. Have I looked over here before? Oh, hey, look. A person I can help. Hey, bro. I got you. What's your problem? Get some thugs. <laughs> See ya! Damn, that was like a clothesline punch. That's crazy. But yes, Martin. For those of you watching this on the tube, th today out of this, of this session of, this, of streaming, it is Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to my U.S. Uh, home age, And uh, happy Thursday to everybody else. <laughs> Motherfucker. Get the hell out of here, you piece of garbage. If you're the one moving, isn't it a lariat? I don't know, man. Clothesline, lariat, it all sounds the same to me. Your arm sticks out and your bitch ass goes flying. That's, an, I mean, that's whatever, you know? Anyway, there is a locker over here. Locker key, that is. So that's good. Sometimes I like I haven't really looked at all the nooks and crannies of Kamarocho yet, so yeah. Hey, thank you for the happy Thanksgiving, Carolina, and welcome to the stream. How are you today? Yeah, the slow-mo at the end of the fighting is always really nice. It feels feels pretty epic. I don't think I've ever been down here either. Alright, well, I know where I'm supposed to be going, but now I'm exploring. Oh, is this the Millennium Building? 
I didn't even know you could go in here without like it being story mode. Well then, never mind on that. I'm working my way over here, making my way downtown, walking fast and faces past when I'm homebound. Yeah, I'm being kind of thorough right now. Looking for shinies, baby. All right, well, the next step, or the next quest, I'm gonna take a, the next step on, I think is gonna be this one in the parking lot with the old lady. You don't look like you're in, under very much duress there, old lady. Do you have to be drunk for side quests? You don't have to be, Barton. I just am. <laughs> anyway, hey there, Kazuchan. Been waiting for you. Why has this town gotta be so damn confusing? Not to mention more of those guys started following me. Cool. Think you're gonna get attacked again? You got that right. Here I am trying to live in the lap of luxury and these pucks just keep getting in the way. Okay, Granny, where do you want to go? <laughs> I'm looking to party, Shadi. First up's got to be the host clubs. After that, I want to check out what's going on in the theater. You heard of shit, shit, John? He's lighting the world on fire. Got a show I'm dying to see. <laughs> oh, and you can forget the bars. Been a lifelong dream of mine to mingle with the rich and famous. Oh, you can't forget the bars. Sorry. That's that's a long list, bro. Oh. Girl, what up? Hmm? Boy. Looks like we have company. Oh boy, more of these guys. Excuse me, may I have a moment of your time? You give us old lady now, yes? I ain't some toy for you kiddos to play with. Just come with us, or else I get very angry. I ain't taking a single step, you nosy jerk. Maybe you come quiet if we kill man. Sorry, but that ain't happening. Kazu Chan's gonna kick your asses so hard you wish you'd never crawl out of your mama's wombs. Ain't that right, Kazu Chan? Boy. Taunting him isn't going to help. Sorry, but this is order from Big Boss. We kill you now. Okay, triads. Get fucked. So, to be official with the clothesline lariat confirmation. Clothesline, you run into. A lariat runs into you. Fair enough. I don't know if I really ever, like, took the time to distinguish the difference between the two. Sir? Sit down, please. Ugh. Goja, you couldn't beat my Kazu Chan in a million years. Oh, and tell Yen Long to cut the crap. We so sorry. We love you long time. <laughs> we so sorry. We love you long time. Hey. Boy. Hey, Granny. Can I ask you something? Huh? What's eating you? Just who are you? Those guys are Chinese triads, no doubt in my mind. What did you do to make them hunt you down? Ain't done a damn thing. You see? I run a dojo down in Kansai, kind of the talk of the town. These cakes you pulverize on Tankaichi straight are all students of mine, actually. As for the ones you just beat down, I didn't recognize them. Probably came in an order to ride number two pupil, Yen Long. Hold on, you work with the Mafia? Ah, <gasps> uh, look at the time. I, I gotta run. Answer my question first. And where are you even going? Best host club in all of Kamurocho. I think it's called Moon Dust, something like that. They say Yuya's a real hot stopper, if you know what I mean. She ain't a man like that does all my bucket list. Anyways, I don't want to be late for my reservation. Catch you later. So, okay. She's going to Stardust, but yeah. We'll, uh, I guess we'll find her over there later, and that'll hopefully be the end of following that old lady around. She just wants a piece of Yuya, though. Alright, anyway. Let's get up into this building. After we fight some thug thugomatics. Did we really have the conversation about the Larry at Clothesline thing before? I really don't remember that. Being a wrestling fan, you think I would remember a small detail thing like that about wrestling moves particularly. But if we did, then maybe I wasn't paying attention, or maybe you guys talked about it when I wasn't participating. I don't know. 
I feel like I didn't. I don't remember having that combo with you guys. Would you like to give me your golf club? Four. Wait, what? What the fuck? Did you see this guy? He like unaggroed off of me and then he re-aggroed. That was weird, right? I don't know if that was a glitch or if he actually like ran away. That was weird. That was super weird. Alright. Let's check out this building real quick. I don't think I've actually been through this building other than to play the photo game. Which I think this is the photo. Yeah, this is the photo game. Maybe I have been in this building. I just forgot. I feel like there would be a shiny on this floor. Are you the legitimate business? Oh. Uh, hello? You're the cleaning guy? Something like that. I'm here to clean up, that's for sure. Uh? The hell are you talking about, buddy? Boy. You're the guy from that forestry association, right? I don't gotta tell you anything. Now get out of here before I call the cops. Go ahead. I'm sure they'd love to hear what you've been up to. Where's that clipboard you had? I assume everyone's data's on there. I, I lost it. Oh, on my way to City Hall. Uh-huh. Oh. Hands off the computers, man. So that's where the data is, huh? Sorry, you made this personal. Uh, you can't just barge in and start accusing me of the shit. I'm gonna give you some data, all right, with my fists. Yeah, okay. Okay, Mr. Activist Man. You gonna fucking scare to yo ass? Get fucking wrecked, bitch. Give him the chair! Here you says, give him the chair. I don't know if that's how I would give them the chair normally, but hey, give him the chair regardless. Oh shit, he's down. There must be more. Oh, I have to destroy the PCs. You got it. Bitch, fuck your computer. Fuck your computer. <laughs> Just grab that shit and throw it. That probably feels cathartic to do in real life. No, not the computers. All that personal info, my friend's email addresses, my collection of secret videos, even my blog. It's all gone. <laughs> Serves you right to lose so much information after everything you stole. Damn it. I knew I should have backed up my hard drive. So, you've been done, you're done scamming people, right? Right. Never again, man. Never again. Anyway, let me apologize for what I did. Here. 100k yen, that's uh. it. One more ting. There's more? You remember a guy named Kenya? Host from Stardust? Oh. Kenya? You fleeced him for over half a million yen. It's time to pay all of that back. You've probably conned so many innocent people that you can't even tell them apart. But I'm sure you'll manage. If you don't, I'll be back. Yes, sir. I get you. I guess I should be more careful with my personal data. I did like the idea of more trees, though. So fuck them for getting my hopes up. Kenya West? Come on, Martin. No, not Kenya West. <laughs> you never know. Wait. This is why you make off-site backups. I know, right? Off-site. Don't fucking put it all in one, all your eggs in one basket. I know. Never know when a Yakuza is going to break in and destroy all your shit, boys. I think I have been in this building before, the more I think about it. All right. How's my stomach looking now? 58? 58? 50, 58? 58? 58? Scratching my head for a second. Not in confusion, just scratching my head. Okay. Oh, wait. Give me the full map, please. Thank you. Okay. So, now that we did those two that were here, I want to go over to Earth Angel real quick. I forget which quest was, was sending me to Earth Angel, but that's where we're going to go right now. Can I get in there? Go through this way. Hi, friendos. Bye, friendos. I might stop by the other bar here and get drunk again. I think we still have to finish off the drinks at the other bar. So wait. Oh, right. We're supposed to come here and talk to her about something. I have a question for you, Mama. You know an Akko? 
You betcha, baby. She's right in front of you, in the flesh. I was like, her name is Akko. What the heck? You want a drink? Yeah. I think I'll pass her tonight. Miyu sent me this way. Mm -hmm. Miyu? What did she say? She said you know where Okano is. <coughs> okay, right. This is the quest for Yuya and his friend Okane. Or Oka Oka Okane. The one that they were looking for. Right. What? But I... I... So you do know where he is? Yeah. No. I don't know anything. Please. Koji showed up at Yuya's club. Yuya is in big trouble if we don't find Okano. Somewhere in the realm of five mil. Black Thunder. Mama, tell me what you know. I'm asking for a friend. Ugh. Why can't Koji just give this up? Tell me where Okano is and maybe I can put a stop to it. I was going to say, he's Okano. Yep. Right in front of you, but not anymore. Nani. Nani? Yeah. What, never seen an ex-thug turn into an, o into an Okama's mama? <laughs> Guess you could say I'm a bit of a late bloomer, sweetie. It took me years to figure out who I really was inside. But you know, I didn't run away because I wanted to. I just wasn't sure how to face Koji. It's been tough enough for me to accept myself. Who knows what he'd say? Your life is yours to live. You shouldn't have to justify it to anyone else. But the one thing I can't accept is you letting Yuya suffer because of this. I... I... I know it's wrong, but... But nothing. Oh, wow. But nothing. Anyway. I'm not getting drunk at your bar right now. Oh, shit. Who's calling? Uh... Kiryu-san, I'm so glad you picked up. I got some bad news. The, those Black Thunder guys are back. Nani. Nani? Yuya-san's holding them off, but I don't know how long he can last. Let me guess. I gotta go back to Stardust. Damn. Oh, boy. Head to Stardust. Okay, here we go. All right, before we head to Stardust, though... I'm gonna hit up Shellac real quick. Shellac. Make sure I've drank all the drinks. Alright. I'm pretty sure, yeah, these this bottom row of drinks is all I have left to drink. So let's hit them all up and then we'll be done with this this place. I don't really want to get like the drunkest. I just wanted to finish off their drinks. You might not. Perfection. Oh, I did get super drunk still. Oh well. Alright, completed shellac. Done. A mama is normally a woman. This is very true. But in a bar like that, that's the whole point of that bar. It's It, it caters to people who uh, like the drag queen situation. Or trans situation. I don't even know. You would say, you would say never seen a man giving birth if there wasn't a certain movie out there. That's pretty funny. But it's true. There is a movie out there. Oh, eat wall, you fat boy. Eat it. Like, I never have enough room to swing people ring around the rosy style. What's up? Okay, so I am heading over to Stardust now. I guess. It's either that or go here and do this one. Hmm. Maybe I should. Just head down Pink Street and check out that one way down there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Head down motherfucking Pink Street, yo. See what's up. Story's going on down there, though. Oh, Junior with Arnold is the one that where the dude has a baby? Really? I I remember seeing some of that movie back when it was when I was a kid. 
Look, if it's money you want, I have enough to fill your pockets and then some. How much? Just give me a number, boy. Huh? This ain't about money, bitch. You can't pay your way out of this. I don't understand. I haven't done anything wrong. Like hell you didn't. You yeah. took my girl. Took is a kind of a strong word, isn't it? She came to me of her own free will. Said she was sick of living in poverty. Shut it, man. That wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been prancing around raving about how stacked you were. So now you're gonna pay with blood. Please, violence isn't the answer. The only answer I got for you is my foot up your ass. Okay. This doesn't look good. Maybe I should step in before a brawl erupts. Uh, just step in. Boy. That's enough, you two. Huh? You think you can tell me what to do, punk? It's none of your damn business, so back the hell off. You made it my business when you started causing a scene on the streets. Now calm down. Or else. Calm? This ain't no time to be calm. And I ain't. And for feeding me that self righteous crap, you get to die first. Okay, random Yakuza bitch. Get fucked, Kamaha. Or Kamata. I thought that was an H. I don't know why. Kamata. Eat this shell, because I said so. Hot kicked his ass out into the street. Fuck your shit. Ugh, I gotta deal with this crap, but just you wait. I'll be back. Or I don't gotta deal with this crap. Sorry, I read that. I keep. I'm terrible at reading today. Of course, apparently. You've done me a favor today, sir. Thank you. That thug could have seriously injured me. I assume you stepped in because you couldn't see a celebrity come to harm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're a celebrity. <laughs> what? You don't know? <laughs> People like you are becoming such a rare breed these days. I'm the president of the most successful IT enterprise in Kamarocho. Smart Eden. Everyone in town calls me Hero Yan. That's not ringing any bells, bro. <laughs> That's quite all right. And might I have the name of my gracious savior? It's Kiryu. Mm. Let me thank you somehow, Kiryu-san. Though, hmm, how shall I do that? Ah, I know. I'll give you the best rate in town on Smart Eden stocks. I... Speechless? I understand. Now, here's the deal. I'll give you 1,000 shares for a paltry 500k. And can I let you in on a little secret, Kiryu-san? My company stocks are going to skyrocket any day now. <laughs> oh, but I've said too much already. Wouldn't want to get too, too wrapped up in my in, any insider trading, now would we? I'm not sure I follow. Anyway, these stocks are going to go up in value, right? I mean, I got the money. Let's just do it. Uh. Sure, if you insist. Great! That'll be just be 500 grand. Oh, yay. Now, all you have to do is wait. Your investment is bound to pay off in the short term. But I should be going. I have people to see and money to make. You better give me my money back, Hiriyan, otherwise I'll fuck your shit up, boy. Alright, well that substory is probably going to pop up again as I walk away. Unless it goes to another area. That one might move to another area, maybe? Uh, well. Maybe it's one of those ones that will pop up like in a later chapter. As a you know next step at the next part of the sub story. Anyway, we're gonna head over this direction. Work our way over to Stardust, shall we? Boom, boom, bam, bam, boom. I forgot last time I was taking the taxi everywhere. Kind of forgot about that. Anyway, we have two reasons to go to Stardust, so let's do it. I'm gonna beat these guys up first. Did you just bet my? Sir, from where I'm standing, that's a physical impossibility. Well, I know your tricks, Dewey. Happy Thanksgiving, Funky. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Nice Toast. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for the 450-bit ass grab. I appreciate it, as always. How are you? Get some Nice Toast. Nice toast? Wow. I just happened to say your name. My bad. Get some! Fuck, fucking Yakuza bitch. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> that was funny. Have some of my nice toast. Get it. Tell me how my sign tastes. Sweep them off his feet. The best kind. 
Shibaraku Netero. Stardust, I'm here. But wait. Ooh, you know what we should do before we go in here? Eat food. I should have stopped down here at one of these restaurants. You know what? Quick detour. Going back the way I came. I don't even know if I've eaten at these restaurants down here, so let me let me, let me do that. Some of these restaurants that are kind of out of the way, I haven't really eaten at. Wait, FML really thought he was live this whole time? Really? Wow, I didn't, I didn't think he would make a mistake like that. That's hilarious. I hope he didn't like finish anything important in the game. All right, so I finished off eating all the sushi. Let's check the restaurant next door. I don't know if I've been in this one. I don't remember coming here. I definitely haven't been here yet. Okay. Definitely not. Alright. Let's load up then. Load me up with all your goodness. Alright. Am I giving mixed signs right, right now, Martin? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you make, make you confused with your emotions. Wow. OBS said he was live and he didn't check until he read your message. Wow. Is this supposed to be River City Ransom for the modern era? You know what, Nice Toast? That is actually a very accurate comparison to make. Like, this is the kind of games, these, these like, beat em up in the city type games, that are definitely inspired by stuff like River City Ransom, for sure. That's actually a pretty good, you know, classic comparison to make. So definitely yes. 100%. Eat a bicycle, motherfucker! See, with FML stream, is that like he usually checks if he's live on on his actual browser. So I'm surprised he didn't do that. He must have just decided he didn't need to do that today for whatever reason, and it backfired on him, unfortunately. All right, let's see what the sub stories do for us this time. The fuck? They brought their motorcycles inside? Assholes. Black Thunder. Look at those motorcycles, too. Ridiculous. Shhh. <laughs> <laughs> The one man army's here. Alright, you fucks. Put him down. Black Thunder. <laughs> Ooh, eat a headbutt, motherfucker. Ooh. Oh, it's a tag team move. All right. The giant swing. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Great combo. Japanese machismo is pretty flamboyant. I mean, yeah. I would say so. Also, Yuya about to get knocked the fuck out right now. Maybe he did get knocked the fuck out. He's recovering. Damn it. Oh, the double team finisher. I love it. I love it. Yuya! 
Put this on. <laughs> I love it. The trench coat. <laughs> oh, round two. Round two. Fuck off. Play ring around the rosy motherfucker, we can do this. Ah, ah, come on. I wasn't ready for the flip move, bro. Woo, get punked. Man, I fucking booted his ass. That was awesome. Sit down, bitch. Sit on the stool, bitch. Sit on it! This is the end of the line for Black Thunder. You ya Okano, uh, Mamasan, you showed up in the nick of time. You're like some kind of guardian angel. Guardian angel, I think you mean fairy godmother. <laughs> <laughs> you right, you right. Kiryu -san. I gotta thank you, Kiryu, too, Kiryu-san. You really saved my skin. Don't nah, worry about it. I'm always happy to help a friend in need. Speaking of friends, Yuya? Yeah? You got some good ones. Take care of them, okay? Hi! Hey! Well, I should be going. See ya! Hmm? What's up? Wait a second, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. I'm head over heels for him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Akko likes her some Kiryu chan. Oh, yes. Okay, well that's up story's done. Uh wait. What about the old lady one? Oh, we actually have to wait till she emails us again? Uh, I guess the same goes for smart futures. Keep an eye on the stock market. Okay, so <clears throat> in terms of sub stories, we can either go fight Cyclops dude, or we can go fight the old man, or we can just move on. I think all the other sub stories are done for now. Wait. No, this one's back. Okay, wait. Never mind. The stock market one might be back. Let's go check that one out then. Move out my way, motherfuckers. I got some stocks to check. Move out my way, motherfuckers. Got some stocks, got some stocks. Yep, yep. Sir, give me my money. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san. Hello, Kiryu-san. Do you remember me? Cool. You're the motherfucker that took 500k of my shit. You got it. Listen, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. Thing is, you know those stocks I told you? I can't really say why, but I need them back ASAP. I can pay, of course. I'll even throw in an extra 200 grand. So what do you say? It's a lot of money. I mean, what if I say I want to think it over? But I don't have time for that. What if I threw in an extra 100K? I don't know. I'm having trouble deciding. Uh, let me help you decide then. I think you should sell. A smart guy like you would know when to cut his losses. Here, I'll give you one more chance. Can I have my shares back, please? Sorry, but the answer is no. Oh, seems like there's no convincing you. Then I guess I should be going. Huh. I, you know, it's not that I didn't want my money back, but I'm quite curious as to why he wanted them back. Maybe they're worth a lot now. Looks like this shit is uh, continuing right here. <laughs> hey, you. Heard you sold Hiryuyan his stocks back. Good move. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Did something happen to him? Didn't you hear? His company's gone totally belly up. Oh, I had no idea what happened. 
Hiroyan was really moving his shares, but then instead of investing the money, he splurged on personal stuff. Women and booze, I hear. Apparently his VP walked out on him too. Smart Eden is basically dead in the water. Oof. Well, stupid choices have consequences, usually. Okay. Well, is he already back? Oh right. shit, it's the Yakuza guy. Hey, hold up, you're that chump who was backing up here, Yon, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sorry, do I know you? Ah, oh, come on, man. Don't bullshit me. Hiryon took my gal. Then you came along and busted me up while I was trying to get some righteous payback. Right. I remember you now. Damn straight. Anyways, I feel pretty good now. My girl came back and lasts pretty smooth these days. Nice. Uh, glad things turned out for her. Uh, turned around for you. From the sound of it, Hiryon finally shit the bed and ran his company to the ground. Word has it is he's clearing bankruptcy. He's gone bankrupt? Hell yeah. And then Hiroyan found himself begging on the streets, and my girl came running back. <laughs> Smart eating stocks are worth less than the paper they're printed on now. Feels good, man. Ha <laughs> ha! And it just goes to show, money ain't got shit on true love. If that's not a triumph for romance, what is? Ha <laughs> ha! And goodbye 500k for me, I guess. <sighs> so those stocks are worthless now? Guess I should just trash them. Weak. I should have just took my money back when I had the chance. Oh well. You lose some, you lose some. I know that's not how the saying goes, but that's what happened to me. <sighs> I took a chance, y'all. Did not pay back, pay off. All right, so. Wait, what am I going for the main story? Talk to Sayama? Wait, where the hell is Sayama? Why is she not marked on the map? Oh, you know what? I just have to go back to Serena and talk to the police lady, and we got to go off and do whatever. That's right. Last time we talked to a uh, police lady, she's like, would you like to, you know, rest for the rest of the night? I remember now. I bet if you took the company back, the, the, uh, the money back, the company would have flourished. Maybe, Martin. I really don't know. I'll probably look into it now that it, that happened, though. Wait, is my stomach empty again? It almost is. The thing is, this this place that I gotta finish up, this one, I think all that's left is I need to drink the alcohol. But whatever, let's do it anyway. Finish off the menu, y'all. If I can. Nice. Alright, the menu is now gonna be done. But let's fill up on foods. If we can. A lot of these are pretty weak on the uh, experience situation. Alright, can't choose anymore. Fine. Alright, drunk as fuck, full cool as fuck. Got some more experience points, but Yurinotaki is done. Another restaurant down. Alright. Knocking out that completion list one restaurante at a time. I feel like I've knocked out a big majority of the restaurants. I don't even know how many more would be left. I guess we could just check. Eat 15 food items. Oh, actual items. Travel by taxi a bunch more times. Travel by foot a bunch more. Earn a total of 100k experience. I haven't gotten any vending machine drinks yet. I should probably do that more often. I haven't done that at all. Get all the locker keys. So Tenbori. Okay, so a lot of these... Dang, there's still a bunch of restaurants I haven't finished here. Wow. Man, some of them I haven't even been to yet. Some of them are close. I just didn't have enough space to finish them. But yeah, alright. That's fine. And then, of course, there's still all the restaurants in So Tenbori as well, which... Okay, that makes sense. We'll just keep on trying to get them all done. A little bit at a time, everybody. A little bit at a time. Countered. Suck it. Whoa. Okay.
Sit down, bitch. Now all these guys are dropping money. Bitch. Fuck you, Ozaki. Yeah, alright. So. Again, I think I'm just going to move on with the story right now. Now that we've done a little bit of... <coughs> quite a bit of side questing. Throat is dry. Can you beat one guy with another guy? I mean, you can do a tag... Like a, like a, a heat action that slams one guy into the other guy, if that's what you mean. But I can't just, like, grab him and swing him around like a weapon. No, I cannot do that. At least not yet. I may get a move like that later. All right, let's talk to my girl and get, it, get her done. Let's call it a night. You're right, let's get some rest. All right, plan on getting woken up bright and early. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Morning, you're going to the fifth chairman's funeral today, yeah? I'll use the time to touch base with Osaka PD. I'll be out for a while. Take your time. I'm sure I don't have to say it, but try to stay out of trouble, okay? Uh. Ah, I'll do my best. I'll call you when I get back. Uh. Now you're getting it. Okay. My girl, Kauru. I'll catch a cab. Okay. So I could have done that already. That being, I could have already stayed there to make it nighttime, but oh well. You know what? While I'm thinking about it, Let's have a vending machine drink. So wait, do those go in my inventory? Oh, they totes do. Yeah, okay. Helps you gain more experience from street fights. Okay. Ho, ho. Oh. Hangover tablets. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind actually hitting up that right now. And I have one of these that I didn't use. My bad. I picked that up like a while back, I think. Maybe back in Millennium Tower. Or no, no. I probably picked that up when I was saving Daigo last time. Daigo Dojima. All right. Any more sub stories that popped up after sleeping? I don't think so. No new ones anyways. I'm kind of down to go ahead and move on with the story. I'm almost tempted to stop by a restaurant I haven't finished and just fill up my stomach, though. Let's see, wait, have I finished Gendako? I have not finished Gendako. Let's go there first, then. Hey, Yakuza fucks. Get some. See, there's your tag team move right there. Or, not tag team move, but hit one guy into another move, into each other's move. I'll take your sword. Right. Oof, headbutted. Gendako. Gendako with a D, sir. Although I would like to get a taco. Man, I went to a taco place for lunch yesterday and it was awesome. I haven't been there in months since before the pandemic stuff. Uh, what are they all fucking screaming about? Hello? Alright, let's finish up this menu. So we haven't had this one or this one. No wonder they fucking 40 and 30? That's crazy. Okay. Cucumber pot. And a couple of drinks. There you go. Booyah. Rest of the menu. Alright. And actually, before we move on with the story also, another restaurant done, let's go ahead and do some leveling real quick, because we can. I forgot what I was saving up for. Experience stuff? 
Yeah, I'd like to get this, of course. Sprint. Boosting your maximum experience. Boost that hunger. I want to maximize all this shit. Alcohol tolerance max would be good. You know what? Let's do that. Any of this stuff is good right now. Maybe I will just save the rest, because we need a lot of 999s to learn a lot of shit. So I will save it. Never mind. I forgot we're getting to a point where we really need to start saving up a lot of experience points to learn some stuff. I don't even want to fight y'all right now. But you know what? I do have an experience booster on, so we should probably just take advantage of it. Bitch. Bitch. Damn, they've been dropping Taylor's items like cray cray. Sword. Speaking of items, should I buy some items before I go into another story thing? How am I looking on heal items? I got like a little bit of a bunch of stuff. I do have a bunch of toughness lights. I'll probably be fine. Oh, this one lowers your hunger gauge, so you can get hungry faster. Okay, that's what that one's for. And getting hungry faster is worth it, so you can level up. And just keep going in more grind for experience from food. I still haven't tried to figure out, like, what's the most efficient way to level up. Uh, like, getting the most experience points from food. Like, what's the best restaurant? And then just keep, like, just grinding going there. This is for hangovers. I guess that's a oh yeah, it's a blinding enemy weapon. Uh yeah, okay. I'll take your in Imurai, Imurai uh, steam bun, because why not? <laughs> I just decided to go ahead and eat it. Why not? Dude, can we stop with the fucking groups of dudes? I don't want to fight any other group of dudes right now. I'm trying to get to the dang car. Get the fuck out of here. It's time to head to the fucking Tojo Clan headquarters for a funeral. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Kiryu's all decked out in black, like he should be. Pay those respects properly. Do we need to talk to anybody here? Hey, you. Wasn't happy when Fisher came from Omi, but now that the Omi have killed him, I got mixed feelings. Uh huh. Okay. Let's just get on with it. I don't need to talk to everybody. Wait, are we going down through here? Aha. Uh -huh. This certainly looks like the fucking room where they're gonna hold the service. Uh, da It's just like when I lost Kazama-san. I'm left here to wonder how it was you and not me. I guess I got more to accomplish first. あの人号派が合流会と手を組んだとなれば、また多くの血が流れることは避けられないね。とにかく一刻も早く合田会長の居場所を突き止めることです。坂月斎藤さん、奴らの動きは封じられる。おい、何者だあいつら。どうなってん
合流会の連中かそこどかんかいもげまたお会いしましたなキルハンここから先は一歩も通さない今日はリュウジさんもおらへんハンさん殺す気で思いっきり暴れさせてもらいますやれや Wow, good luck. Good fucking luck, bro. Oh boy. It's a Yakuza war, y'all. The Go Ryu clan about to get fucked up. You don't interrupt the funeral. That's just bad fucking manners, bitch. Even for some Yakuza hoes, that's just bad manners. Can I not get chopped by a sword for a second, please? Get the fuck out of here. Fucking disarm your sword ass. Ooh, get it. Ooh, get it. I said disarm your sword ass, bitch. Give me that. Fuck your shit. You'll be fine, Daigo. Go to your Kaika. Hey. Oh, look, and he's back. Go to your chin. Thinks he's such a badass. Oh, hi, oh, Kiryu. そう若頭大公の柏木だ。ほんまでっか寺田会長ぶっ殺したんだ。てめえの仕業だろうが。うう、兄ちゃん。この前の勢いはどこに行ったんや。畜生。ぶっ殺してやる。合田会長はどこにいるんだ。空気のええところでゆっくり休んでも
血のつながった親としては死ぬほど情けないはずだ<笑>親父と親父はチーナとつながっておるんだえせやから親の情なんかあれあるのはお互いに憎しみの感情だけあんたも大変やなでしゃばりなおかんもっててめえ今日はもうお遊びやなしお邪魔ないうやしそろそろおいとまさせてもらいますそうやな。三日やな。三日。ええ。わしらもその間は、もう二服させてもらいます。せやから三日後、再選と行きましょう。再選だと。そうや。もうこれ以上ごちゃごちゃせんと、一気に片付けましょうや。カムロ町に血の雨を降らせたりますせやけどうちには礼儀知らずのおっさんがおるからの多分今頃カムロ町のどこぞで派手なパフォーマンスを繰り広げとるはずや礼儀知らず誰だ戦国や戦国Well, I guess we have to fuck Sengoku up first. We'll deal with Ryu in three days. Go, Ryu. Ryoda. Oh, Ryuji Goda? How's it? his name? Ryuji, right? Ryuji Goda. Hey, look who came to greet him. Nice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I love Majima so much. Majima's the best.、Uh. Hello?、Uh. Sayama. Sorry, I, I got too tied up to call you. I got the gist of what happened already. The Omi Alliance have launched their attack?、Uh. Yeah, Sengoku specifically.、Mm -hmm. Wait, just Sengoku?、Mm -hmm. Why? Can we talk later? There's a lot going on at the moment. Where are you? Near Purgatory. I'm nearby anyway. Just give me a second, I'll be there. Okay. So what's going on?、Mm -hmm. All I've got to go on at the moment is what Ryuji said.、Eh? Wait, Ryuji came out here too?、Uh. Yeah. Go Ryu clan、uh, attacked Tojo clan headquarters. <laughs> We beat them back, but he said he, he didn't even order it. And if what he's saying is true, then Sengoku's attack was independent of the Go Ryu clan. Seems like the whole Omi alliance has gone rogue.、Uh. Maybe, but our first priority needs to be pushing Sengoku back.、Eh. Right. Let's hurry. Let's go fuck his shit up. I don't know if we can even do anything else right now. Let's see if sub stories are even available. I mean, it looks like sub stories are still around. Is there any new ones? Probably not right now.、Um, you miss Gentleman Majima? You know, I kind of do too, DJ, but even so, I like how crazy he went after the Gentleman Majima stuff from the first game. Or Yakuza Zero, anyways. I always call it the first game, but it really was. You know, First one I played, so that's how I, why I keep calling it. It's the first in the chronological series, also. So that's right. I still can't imagine having played the first Yakuza and then playing Zero. Like, with the way the story went, like all the characters, like that would have been a crazy, jarring thing to see everybody, like, the backstory on everybody. After getting so little about them in the, in the Kiwami 1, really. Other than, like, Nishiki. And.、Uh, trying to think who else got, like, good overall arcs in Yakuza Kiwami. Nishiki definitely did. I guess you got more of、uh, Kazama and stuff like that. Also, who is calling me right now? 
Oh, is there the ambush specialist? There's another boss guy, Stealthy Kurosawa. Okay, where's that at? Senrio Avenue, down here. I don't know if I really want to go fight him right now, right now. Let's just go take on Sengoku right now. By the way, do I need to eat? Not that badly. I could go eat, though. Um, have I finished Conrai? Let's see. Complete Conrai. Did not complete Conrai. We have one more food to eat there. All right, let's go do that then. I don't mind. Actually, we can make ourselves fully hungry by taking some of those app stems. Also, wait, hold on. What the fuck? Oh, these are just guys who got their ass kicked. Never mind. We'll come back to that. Yeah, this definitely seems like a, a good point in the story to not get too sidetracked by side stuff. Right, hold up. I want to take some of these app stems real quick and get my hunger down to... Oh, oh. Zero, and then we'll just load up. Okay, what didn't we eat? We didn't eat the harami. And that's it, huh? I don't know how. Maybe I accidentally skipped over it and I thought I ate it already. But whatever. We're eating now. Is there any good blue ones? Like, it'll give me some blue. I have 15 left. That'll do. Is this actually a new game? You're getting confused with all the Yakuza games. When you say new, do you mean like new for me? New for like when it came out? I'm not sure what you mean by new, Flammy, but welcome to the stream anyways. Uh, this game came out... So uh, put it this way. This is a remake of actual Yakuza 2. So Yakuza 2 was on PS2, I think. This is a remake of it. They remade it completely in a new engine and redid pretty much everything in the game. Um, that's what this game is. So it is more recent, yes. It came out, I think, after Yakuza 6 came out, if I'm not mistaken. Someone can correct me on that. Anyway, howdy, Kazu-chan. Oh, this is the old lady. She needs more help at the theater. Okay, yeah, I'll help you out later. I'm a little busy right now. There's Yakuza Wars going on. There's a bunch of Yakuza Wars going on. Yeah. Yep, game design these days are all about remakes, remakes, remakes. I mean, this is a true statement. But if they remake them to the point where they're like completely new feeling, like this game is, Kiwami 1 and 2 are definitely true remakes in every sense of the matter, where they redid a lot of everything in the game. So I'd say they're worth they're worth making for people that like the series. Like it's not really worth going back playing Yakuza 1 and 2 now that these games exist. Because Yakuza 1 and 2, the originals on PS2, are very primitive. Like, with the voice acting and the graphics, of course. Like, remaking those games made sense to me. I don't think they're really going to remake any more of the Yakuza games completely. Those, 1 and 2 are probably the only ones they'll actually redo. They did remaster 3, 4, and 5 for the PS4, but that's just putting a coat of paint over what they already have done. I don't think they changed the game at all. I could be wrong, but I don't think they did. All right, anyway, let's get over to the square over here and see what's going down with Sengoku and Majima-san. 